I'm Tobiah Isbell, a grease product specialist with Sitgo Lubricants, and we're here in the Mystic Grease Lab. Knowing the application of the grease is much more important than knowing the color of the grease. We put color into grease in order to help differentiate between different types of grease. Um, sometimes the different colors have a different meaning, so a red might be a high temperature grease, but that's not necessarily always the case. Um, and also we use color in order to help make different batches uh, consistent as we make the, the grease in the plant. So another benefit of having greases dye different colors is for operational efficiency. Uh, you don't want to add the wrong grease to the wrong equipment, so having different colors helps you identify what's the proper grease to add to a piece of equipment. So you might have a little tag on the grease arc in order to make sure you're putting a red grease or a blue grease. Uh, it can help you identify when you have contamination. So for example, a red grease would turn to a light pink if you had a bunch of air introduced or if you had a bunch of water that got into the grease. Uh, it can also darken when you have things like dirt getting into the grease. Uh, it's also useful for leak detection. So if you have grease that's getting out of the application, you'll be able to tell to differentiate it from say a hydraulic oil or something else. Sometimes grease colors are chosen purely based on personal preference. So the grease might match the company colors or it might look pretty to the customer. So people have different reasons for, for choosing the color of a grease. Some of the more common colors that manufacturers will use, one of them is red, which a lot of a lot of times will be for a high temperature grease. Uh, blue will sometimes be used for a low temperature grease. And then blues and greens are also sometimes used for uh, marine applications. But the color of the grease is not the most important. The most important is the performance. The color of the grease is not related to the performance, so Different manufacturers will use different colors for different greases and it's important to not pick a grease based on the color but to read the data sheets and understand the performance properties of the grease. The dyes in the greases have no significant impact to the performance of the grease. Uh, sometimes different additives can impart a color onto the grease which in that case it would, but when you're using dyes, it's not related to the performance. So most of grease is made up of base oil and the base oil can have an impact on how the base grease looks. Um, so you might have a very light base oil color, which would make a very light base grease, or you might have a very dark oil, which would make a darker amber grease. Um, and here we have a few examples of different thickener types, which are undyed. Uh, you have calcium sulfonate, lithium complex, and aluminum complex. And most of the color that's present in these greases is from the base oils that are used. Although there's many colors to choose from, it's most important to pick the right grease for the application rather than based on color. Thanks for joining me in the lab today. For more information, go to mysticlubes.com.